A few videos prior, I reviewed the BitPixel HV being used with the Legends pinball tables as well as CoinOps X. One question that came up a number of times is, will the BitPixel HV work with Pinball FX3 and or VPX tables? And the answer to both of these questions is yes. However, in this video, we'll take a look exclusively at the BitPixel HV with Pinball FX3. I'll quickly demonstrate the installation and setup, and show you some examples of what the DMD looks like while playing some Pinball FX3 tables. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. If you visit the pixelk.org website, full link below, you'll find clear instructions on how to set up the DMD for Pinball FX3 as well as Visual Pinball. You will first need the Steam version of Pinball FX3 installed. I have a full guide and video on that which will be in the show notes below and help you out. After installing Pinball FX3, you'll want to download the Pixelk Pin DMD installer by clicking the download link. Now we'll plug in the USB cable from the BitPixel HV into our PC. First we'll launch the Pixelcade Pin DMD installer. Go ahead and click the next button and make sure your BitPixel HV is plugged into the PC. If you have previously installed Visual Pinball, the VPN main path will be populated for you. If not, you can install it to a folder of your choice. Then hit next and then click install. The installation process may take a little while. Once installed, you'll find the device manager has been loaded, as well as a separate window on the right hand side for the COM port setup. In device manager, identify the ports, COM, and LPT, and expand the tree. You'll see the USB serial device listed with the COM port number. In the right hand window, enter only the number of the COM port assigned with the BitPixel HV, then click the OK button. A dialog will appear to confirm the COM port being used. Just click OK. Then, for the Pixelcade model selection, we want the first option. So go ahead and click the Yes button, and a browser window will appear. We can close all the windows at this time since the installation is complete. So I'll go ahead and close them out. Now click the Windows button in the lower left, and then we want to select the Pixelcade for Pinball FX3 icon. This will launch the dmdext.exe, which handles the communication between the BitPixel HV and Pinball FX3. After it starts up, Pinball FX3 will load. We'll go ahead and press Enter, or the Forward Nudge button, depending on how you have it mapped. We'll move up to the top and go to the Cabinet selection, and then scroll down to where it says Dot Matrix Repositioning, and go ahead and turn that off. Since we'll be using the BitPixel HV for the DMD, we no longer need the virtual DMD visible. Under Options, you can press the left or right Shift button or Flipper buttons to select the UI Streaming. At the bottom, there is an option for Dot Matrix Color. However, at the time of this video, the option has no effect on the color of the DMD. Now let's load up a table and see what it looks like. I'll turn off the light so there's no reflection, and pick a sampling of tables to demonstrate the DMD. Thank <laughs> you. 
If you visit wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash ALP FX3 and scroll down to the table of contents and select the BitPixel HV with FX3 link, you'll find written instructions for everything shown in this video. Any new information will be added there in the future as well. I want to thank Al at Pixelcade who was extremely helpful in reviewing that the information in this video was accurate and correct. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful or informative, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I look forward to talking with you again very soon.